Hello and welcome back to Feral and for the next lot of quests. First up is Edge here. You certainly you certainly look edgy. Are you actually edgy though? You You haven't seen shoes, have you? I'm kind of freaking out. To what shoes are you referring? Shoes! My beloved shoes! Duh! Shoes is a rare vintage plushie for the... of the now extinct Vex Rat. Who must be taken out of... taken out for fresh air daily. Which is why every day I let him take a... leisurely... Le oh, leisurely float down the river at, in his licensed shoe boot. Uh, shoe bo 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 Shoe boats, okay. When the sun hits just right. But some freak blocked the entire river with dams, and now my shoe is just sitting there in the in his little bucket boat, waiting for the perfect river ride that will never begin, and I am about to lose it! I'll get rid of the dams for my buddy's shoes. Hmm. The dams are, are probably here for a reason, or... I'll get rid of the dams for my buddy's shoes. I mean, I don't really want to upset anyone, that's not really who I am. <laughs> yes, I knew you would understand. Alright, if we're going to pull this off, you're going to have to get the dynamite I saw upstream. Ooh, dynamite. Boom. I mean, if the dams were supposed to be there, but then why would anyone leave them out? I'll leave that out. Guessing it's still the same. Same regardless. Would you be the the definition of edgy? You um. Well, it didn't really fit the description though, so technically not. But I did see uh, the dams here a couple of days ago. Which would be that. And there's the bucket right there. So you. Your shoes, are you? Was. Well, I'm guessing you're a creature named Shoes. Well, whatever you are. I have to get you out. Okay. Dynamite. There'll be one right there. Dynamite! A pile of dynamite ready to ignite. Seriously. Who would leave this lying around if they didn't want it want anyone to use it? Ooh, how you dreamed of this moment. This should be more than a and strong enough to blow these dams apart. Stand back. And... Kind of messed up on the reading there, but... Whatever. So, um... Can we toss it? Okay. Oh! Oh, okay! Boom. Standing right on top of it. That's not safe. Okay. Come on now, shoes. Oh, maybe I need to find another stick. Uh, sticks, sticks, dynamite sticks. 
Hmm. Where could the stuff be? Ah, over there. <laughs> Starting to panic a little bit there. Thinking I would never get this done. Yes, dynamite. Get some more boom here. TNT. Dynamite. Easy find. Yes. Yes, we get it. And... Boom! On the way. Now you're good. Talk to Edge about the destruction you have wrought. I don't... Yeah, I know I uh, wrought some destruction. Don't know what impact that did. Who knows what the uh, dams were originally there for. Well, given the way they were built, they weren't very effective, so... Need to do a better job. Whoever built them. A rare plushie of a Vexrat, saved from being stranded in the river forever. Vexrat... <clears throat> Vexrat... Vexrat? Could probably swim, but there's no telling what could have happened. Or what could have happened to this little plushie if he hadn't come along. Here, Edge. Ah, you found him! Oh, and not a scratch on this... On his little cute head. Truly, you understand the plot of the Collector. Thank you so much! Uh. I said thank you, didn't I? We're done here. Bye. That's what I'm after. Reward item. Thank you. Button anklets. Interesting. I've been looking for something new for this character recently. Probably some definition of edge for you, that's for sure. Given your attitude. You will not believe how hard shoes was to find online. Wait, there's internet here? Okay. Hardly anyone's even heard of a Vexrat these days. And Vexrat merchandise? Do not get me started. This place... Gets weirder and weirder. And I don't mean leg root, I mean all. All of Feral. Keep hearing of things that you don't expect to find here. Anywho, Blood Tundra. And it's Luca again. He needs our help. Well, hello there. If you don't mind, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Luca. Yes, I already know that. I've met you before. The leader of our happy flock. I'm sure you're just passing through like all of us are. But if you have the time to linger a little longer... Can I... confide in you about something? If I even said that word right? What do you need, Luca? Be warned. These words must pass to you and nowhere beyond such things. Or well, such things have no business being whispered and echoed through the tundra like a poisonous wind. Luca, are you trying to gossip? Gossip? Tell me, is it gossip if I tell you that a visitor named Karen is driving me mad? Oh dear. Mad at you even then the desolate vices of the inner consciousness? What did she do? It was difficult to tell. She appears to be stuck in the lake, but wouldn't let me talk. 
and seemed to blame me for her struggle. I know that feel. It's like I do did nothing wrong, but I still get the blame for something. And even worse, get punished for it. She went on to claim that I, it looks, exude evil poet energy. Whatever that is. As even he's... Apparently Lucas just as clueless when he says, what does that mean? She vexes me worse than the unquantifiable descent of, of snow upon the tundra. Will you speak sense to her? <laughs> That's just it. If you understand the feeling of the situation exactly, thank you for your help. Well and truly understand, mate. Well and truly understand. You, Karen. Oh, finally, are you here to help me? It's an absolute disgrace that I've been stuck here for so long. All alone! Well, alone save for that unsettling Luca, who, who gave me the creeps. Now, can you go fetch me whoever's in charge of the Blood Tundra? Why don't you tell me what happened? I don't know why you can't put this together yourself. I was on a trip down the Lake Root River when the water twisted and stranded me here. Now, are you going to get me some real help or not? I don't deserve to be stuck on this boat all day just because I didn't feel like learning how to sail before I left. Ugh, fine. What are you doing just standing there then? Tell the leader of the Blood Tundra to fetch my oars out of the lake at once. And that I'm very disappointed we didn't meet in person. <sighs> Sheesh. Certainly is one. It's no wonder you have that name. Got some walls to find. Ooh. Will that be one of them? Uh, apparently not, just scenery. Aha, there's one. Photos. Self-explanatory. Anyone would pretty much know that since childhood. If not, then I'm concerned. Happy? Finally, I'd say thank you, but this should have been handled immediately. Wasn't this a definition of immediately? How quickly I brought them back to you? So I'm not sure you deserve it. I suppose I'll save my complaints for the leader of the Blood Tundra when I finally meet them. I do appreciate your help. Now, how do I steer this boat back to Lake Root? Poisonous Chase Lounge. Side effects may include dizziness, fainting, and a complete disinterest in standing up. Got some other similar uh, furniture as before. Good grief. What a horrid one. Alright then. To get further away from her, let's go to Mugmire. And what we've got... <coughs> Quiet, dog! What we've got to do is... Right here. The great magician Leonardo. Haven't I met you before? Confound it! Even the great magicians such as I neglect to think through the cleanup required of an otherwise delightful magical trial. 
We need to keep that for a trial this time. Bah! As if creating several magical duplicates of one of your loved ones is the only trick in my book. My bag of tricks runs much deeper than that. I remember who you are. You're the one who's trying to try to make me look for um the real Brody. My latest and greatest magical trial made great use of my magnificent stuff of levitation, as you can see. And as you can still see, my stuff of levitation is still levitating. All the way up there. Isn't that your stuff, or you're referring to another one? And well, the great magician Leonardo has tried to get it down, but he refuses to listen. And the great magician Leonardo has very stubby legs. Yeah, given the race you are. I remember I still remember when I had to help someone with pizza deliveries because of their legs. But I have no fear with your sparkitude and my <laughs> Wow, rude. We can create a floating stairway with those stones in the water. Haha, <laughs> you see? We can make a magical trial of this after all. The magic in that spark of yours should have enough re resonance to get a few stones to afloat. Especially with everything in this march so lousy with lantern magic already. If not, then you're no spark worth your snuff. Now use the floating stones to reach the new heights. On this. The latest magical trial of the great magician Leonardo. Oh, I see it. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, okay, there they are. Okay, that's one. Seems simple enough. Whoa, push me off. I could just go hop, 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 and hop. Oh, I could probably cheese it. Will this work? Gold it. <laughs> I'll just hop all the way down. There you are, mate. Well done. You left no stone unhovered. But there's one more step. Step. Ha! You get it? Yes? I get ya. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you, <laughs> you sounded sick there. <laughs> Look, kid, could you hop up there and grab the stuff? I'll go myself, but the legs of us Maya Falk are not built for acrobatics. If they were, mark my words. People would would be calling me the great acrobat Leonardo. Yep. Simple. Whoop. Oh, uh, overshot that. Magnificent stuff of levitation. Sure, it's levitating, but you don't know if you go as far as to call it magnificent. Well, given the way it wasn't listening, it'd be anything but magnificent. There you are, Leonardo. Ah, uh, there it is, my beloved magnificent stuff of levitation back in my possession. I feel so magical right now. Haha, <laughs> indeed! For how... But hell, pray tell, could you ever know it were the true purpose of this magical trial? Was in fact to get you to believe in yourself? I usually do. You'd maybe believe that, if you spend less of this trial talking about himself. Vintage sun hat. Well gee, in that hat you're looking cuter than a bug's ear. A real peach. Alrighty then. That's the last of them for today. So, to all you viewers, if you have Feral as well, follow me, and I'll follow you. And until then, farewell. <laughs>